Hi folks, I just wanted to give a little video actually about the art workshops that I run and um, and just trying to throw some light of um, ease upon them. Because there's a lot of people that are not comfortable or feel they have no quality or skills in a creative way. So I kind of like, um, I, yeah, I, I guess in a way I just wanted to talk about it because it's such a rewarding thing to do. It's a, it, a, an art workshop is not just a great therapy in itself, it's part of discovering who you are and what you are. I mean, it's the art of expressing and, and expressing something within you. You're, you're finding something that is that has meaning and reason and more of the way in which you work that you've not worked in a way before. Even though you know people that come for the workshop can already dabble. There are those that have that are already doing some paintings or drawings. Um, but there's also those people that have not touched a crayon or a pencil or a paintbrush since primary school, and that could be 30, 40, 50 years, and um, sometimes even longer. Occasionally we may have a professional artist, but the, I try to keep them to the one-to-one -one classes, and they're seeking freedom, the freedom to express, uh, the, the freedom to kind of step outside the restrictions, and I guess basically the art workshops are all about that. Um, you know, the materials that we use, generally speaking, the workshops are with acrylic paint on a board. And we're all using the same stuff. We're using the same board, we're using the same brushes. And, you know, and it's a little bit like a guided meditation. Uh, because we need to keep it kind of the similarness between all of us, even though there are workshops where they're very individual pictures. Um, and I'm here to guide and show you, um, not to make it difficult. I do feel that everyone is creative within uh, and it's trying to unlock that and bring that forward because there's so many people that l would love to paint but just have this element of fear. When we actually get into creating, which is something I've learned myself, it kind of teaches me more about me. Uh, and not just teaches me more about me, it teaches me about how I deal with life and situations. Because you're taking a feeling or a thought from within and you're bringing it out. It's not like we're copying something. Um, there's nothing wrong with copying and that's part of life in a way, but it's when we actually work with our inner thoughts and our inner feelings, it goes into a, a deeper space of understanding of who we are. And I guess that's the wonderful thing. And so I very much see like creating a painting or stepping into to the dynamics of that, we're actually stepping into the dynamics of ourself. And, and it starts to unfold. We actually start a relationship between the picture and ourselves. So we do have a logical aspect of how our eyes perceive what we are actually putting on the board. But it's kind of like this ever-ending circle in a way because it's coming from within, we're bringing it with, without, and then that's actually going back into us. So it's quite provoking. And that, that, what it provokes can go quite deep in a nice way because it can stir elements of feelings, you know, from excitement because when we actually start to put things together, um, it is very, very exciting. And when the paint is flowing in a certain way, that way of discovery, it, it really does feed our soul and, and it's very exciting. But then, you know, there can be little blips where we get stuck within the picture. We have unsureness, uncertainties. I like life because, you know, there are some days with life where life of the sun is shining like today and, and it's beautiful and the energy is just so blissful and lovely. And then maybe in a few days time, we're faced with a challenge and a difficulty and oh, we're drained of our energy. In some ways, I guess a painting takes all these aspects into account. Uh, so we can have highs and some lows in the creative energy, which is quite normal, but it's how we address them. The wonderful thing about the painting is that there's a forgivingness to it. The, it. the only thing that may give up on a painting is oneself, which I have experienced that in my, in my past. Many years ago, I, I gave up on lots of painting. The only thing is now I don't give up. Uh, and that energy that I don't give up while I'm painting a picture actually comes back into my physical world. So I don't give up on the challenges or the difficulties. I don't run away from them. I address them and work through them. 
because you know we can wait for life to change it or we can create the change ourselves or to quicken the change regarding certain situations so it's quite a it's quite a lovely and it's quite a beautiful thing it's it's a revealing thing because not just for between the individuals within the workshop but from yourself to the picture and back into this this it's a very it's a very odd thing to actually talk about really because it is a relationship and even though in, in the world we have relationships with other people and other situations even down to you know pets and people and everything you know we're actually having a relationship with this creative energy upon the board but it's a mirroring of ourself it's a mirroring of our feelings our thoughts a part of our character part of how we deal with life and situations um, so it's 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 great it's absolutely um, it's an empowering thing to do and it, and it just gives me the buzz when we get into color the dynamics of color um, which there is a, a scientific element or study to color and its effects on people but we have that within in, in the, the art workshop itself but it's the dynamics that I'm most interested in is from you upon the board and back at yourself how you perceive a feeling and you translate that into color how you perceive a form or shape and you translate that upon the board and that element I guess with the vision you know we're working with feelings we don't always have the, it's, it's not something that we're, we are copying. It's not something that we can scale with a ruler and actually transfer onto the board. We're actually taking it within. A lot of vision work, actually, when we get into the vision work, really, in a way, it can be not exactly to the physical world. There's, there's a distortion within those elements. And that's quite a natural thing to do. It's, it's a bit like the a dream when we have a dream it's kind of like it's it's how the dream is stitched together and, it, and it's not always related to a, to a normal flow within a, the world we know it there's somewhat difference so it's kind of like it throws up all these aspects um, as I said I'm here to guide and to show you and and I take the colors myself and apply them to the board either with a sponge or a cloth or uh, the brush itself and, and we work through these things, we overcome these things and the element of it. And you know, the plan is at the end of the two days, because it's all art workshops now are two days long. Um, the first day basically is about putting a layer down onto that board, um, possibly going a bit further. And then the second day is about bringing out more of that detail, more of that colour. I, I kind of say that there are three layers to any painting. Uh, it goes from 1D, 2D and 3D. So I just wanted to share a little bit of my excitement on how working with the creative energy and creating a painting has an effect on me. It teaches me to overcome. It teaches me not to give up. It takes me outside my comfort zone. Every time it takes me outside my comfort zone. And this is what I find, you know, for us to discover in the world we have to be brave we have to be courageous you know to discover even more we have to do things we don't normally do and that is very much related to the creative energies coming outside that comfort zone in a form of discovery there are no mistakes we learn everything in the creative world is about learning and observation and bringing that into play and even observation when we're actually painting I do really feel it gives us more observation within the physical world as well how we perceive because perception is a very interesting one and most times you know life is very busy a lot of times we just don't have the time to sit and observe but I guess when we actually start to work in a workshop of a painting that observation comes into play and that observation is not just about the painting, but it's about our own thoughts and our feelings. So I just wanted to share that with you. And um, I find it all very exciting. Color actually makes my mouth water. And uh, so yeah, so I look forward to seeing old faces upon the workshops that are starting to begin now and fall into place and new faces. Anyway, on that note, have a great bank holiday weekend, which we're coming to back to work tomorrow for a lot of us and um, take care and see you all soon. God bless. Bye now.